Is there anything more intimidating than trying to figure out how to talk to someone about their relationship with Jesus? I mean, last session we discovered that Jesus said, we have been strategically placed where we are for a purpose. So it's not an accident you live where you do with the neighbors you have. It's no accident you work where you do or you go to school where you do, or it's no accident you're on the team that you're on. God's placed you there to be a light and to do what's right and to introduce people to Jesus and his grace. And you wouldn't be watching this if you didn't want to do that. I know that, but it's scary and it's confusing at times. So in this session, I want to give you three tips to make it simple and natural for you to be the light where you are. First, always start by listening to people's stories. Just take time to get to know people. Make a point to learn more about them because when you do that, you show you care about them. You know, everybody's got a story and most everybody loves to tell their story, don't they? The thing is, very few people actually get a chance to tell it because nobody asks. So when you listen to someone's story, you communicate that you care and that you value them as a person. And this is important. You learn how they think. You learn what they believe. You learn where they have questions or tensions in their life. Listening communicates value. And as the saying goes, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So first, listen and learn. And then the second piece of advice I'd give you is ask specific questions. Because often a question will lead you into a conversation that opens the door to explore faith. So I want to give you some simple examples and you can use these. On Mondays, you could just ask people you see, hey, what'd you do this weekend? And after listening to them, guess what's going to happen? Most often they'll look back at you and ask you the same thing. Well, what'd you do this weekend? And you have an opportunity then, right? Because you can always wrap up your answer of what you did by saying something like, and then Sunday I went to church, we heard this really helpful message on this, or, you know, we had this really great experience because of this. And then if they follow up and ask you more about it, hey, it opens the door for a conversation. And if they don't ask you more about it, you don't have to push it. But it's a simple way to open the door if people want to talk about it. Here's another great question to ask whenever faith or church comes up. You just ask people, so what do you believe about God? This is such a powerful question because everybody has an opinion, but very rarely are non-Christians ask what they think. So just if you're at lunch or you know, you're in a conversation, just ask people this when it's appropriate and then listen to them, okay? And as they start to unpack, keep looking at them going, well, tell me more, tell me more, or hey, help me understand why you believe that or why you see things that way. You show them that you care about their worldview and they will, I promise you, they will eventually ask you about your point of view. And now you're having this healthy conversation, right? You're not pushing what you believe on somebody. You're just sharing back and forth how you see things. And then the third thing I would encourage you to do is remember to pray for the people that God puts in your life. Now, here's what I've discovered. If you will pray for them, if you'll pray for the issues they're dealing with, you're going to have a lot more compassion and love for them. And I can guarantee you this, most of the people you know, they don't know one person who's praying for them by name. And if you'll share with them at the appropriate time, hey, I'm, I'm praying for your mom to get better. Or, I've been praying for your kid. Or how's that going, you know? They can't believe it. And it will mean the world to them. And nothing about this, this is what I love, nothing about this is confrontational. It's just about having conversations with people and taking the opportunity when you have those conversations to talk about what's made such an impact on your life, the relationship that you have with your Heavenly Father. So, what do you say if you get into these conversations and they want to know more about what it means to follow Jesus? When the next session, I'll tell you how to answer that.